My research and area of expertise is in type 2 diabetes and how it can be reversed. In 2012, 1.5 million people died worldwide as a result of diabetes. Each day that diabetics do nothing about their condition, their chances of having a stroke, heart disease, becoming blind, or having a leg amputated increases. My presentation today will focus on these areas. One, diabetes statistics. Two, signs of oncoming diabetes. Three, main causes of type two diabetes. Four, why diabetes is on the increase. Five, how diabetes type two can be reversed. And six, there is mountain evidence that type two diabetes can be reversed. In the UK, the number of diabetes cases has risen to 2.8 million. 9% of Canadians are diabetics and the health minister has warned that four out of five Canadians are at risk of becoming diabetics. 11% of Americans are diabetics and over 90 million are pre-diabetic and are not aware of it. Worldwide, it is estimated that 425 million people are diabetics. And experts in this field say that if diabetes is not brought under control, by the year 2040, one out of every eight people will be a diabetic, a staggering 1.8 billion people worldwide. The amount of money developed nations spend on diabetes care each year far exceed many developing countries' GDP. For example, in Canada, the government spends $23 billion on diabetes each year. In the United States, the figure is estimated to be over $230 billion a year. The good news is that there is mountain evidence and other research that show that type 2 diabetes can be reversed. Before I discuss this research, first, let's look at signs of oncoming diabetes. Craving sweets, frequent urination, rapid weight loss, tingling at the fingertips and toes. I have experienced these signs myself. In September of 2009, I awoke each morning to find a sticky whitish substance on my tongue as well as in the corner of my eyes. I made a visit to the doctor. After asking me a few questions, he ordered a blood glucose test. Testing showed that I had a blood glucose level of 21.9 millimoles per liter, more than five times the normal blood level of 4.5 to 6.5 millimoles. My doctor diagnosed me a type 2 diabetic and informed me that I was steps away from going into cardiac arrest. He further explained that the sticky whitish substance on my tongue and in the corner of my eyes each morning was the sugar that had built up in my body trying to find a way to exit my body. What you are seeing is my blood test result when I was diagnosed. After the diagnosis, I managed the diabetes until I learned from the nurses at the diabetes clinic that eventually my type 2 diabetes will progress to type 1 diabetes. In addition, I could have my leg amputated, get heart disease, stroke, etc., etc. With this information, I went to see my doctor and asked him a point blank question. Dr. Robinson, can type 2 diabetes be reversed? He replied, yes. I learned about Dr. Bailey Hamilton, professor at Oxford University, who was not able to lose the extra weight she gained during pregnancy after she gave birth. She researched her condition and discovered the reason she could not lose the weight, which led her to write toxic overload to help other mothers in similar situations. Inspired by Dr. Bailey's approach, I undertook my own research to find a way to overcome my diabetes. I wanted to see if diabetes could be reversed in an extreme case such as mine. Researchers have found that as foods with refined sugar increases, so are the cases of diabetes type 2. As we eat these foods, over the years the sugar buildup overwhelms the body. The pancreas still works. However, the insulin secreted by the pancreas is not able to transport all the excess sugar into the cells to be used as energy to fuel our muscles. The excess sugar converts into fat that finds its way into our bloodstream. The fat coats the blood cells and prevents the cells from absorbing the sugar and transporting it into the muscles to be used as energy. This is the point where the victim loses energy and becomes insulin resistant. 
diabetes is on the increase due to the lack of education and providing diabetics with the correct information to help them reverse their diabetes. There is overwhelming and mounting evidence that type 2 diabetes can be reversed, but most type 2 diabetics don't know this. Dr. Anthony Robinson, who offered advice during the research, recommends that the best way to reverse type 2 diabetes is by using several approaches all working together. The research reveals that if a diabetic's body is insulin resistant, then to reverse the diabetes, the body's insulin sensitivity has to be restored. When this happens, the diabetes is reversed. The most effective and the quickest way to achieve insulin sensitivity is by following a personalized menu cycle, not randomly following recipe box. A personalized exercise routine done at a certain time of the day. A personalized vitamin therapy taken at a correct time of the day. The research also discovered that the steps I have mentioned can also benefit those who are pre-diabetic, including overweight and obese people by helping them lose weight. What you are looking at is a sample of the meals and also a sample of the exercise routine. Within a month of studying this regimen and myself being the test subject, my energy level began to surge. In less than 30 days, Dr. Anthony Robinson declared me diabetes free. Even in my extreme case, I regained my health. What you are seeing here are the blood test results after reversal occurred. The purpose of my research was not just to help me, it was to help other diabetics. I had a discussion with Dr. Anthony Robinson about using the research results to help other diabetics. He replied, that's an excellent idea. And he issued me a handwritten testimonial for the book I am currently authoring about my work, which will be available from my website after May 15, 2017. What you are looking at is the handwritten testimonial by Dr. Anthony Robinson. The efficacy of my research in helping diabetics reverse their diabetes was reviewed by Dr. Brunelda Nazario, MD, WebMD lead medical editor, and was featured in the magazine WebMD Diabetes for 2016 issue, page 19. The article can also be searched on their website. WebMD is made up of hundreds of physicians who provide healthcare information to other medical doctors as well as the general public. What you are looking at is the two titles. In the first article, they use the word reverse, and in the second article, they use the word cure. The methodology for reversing type 2 diabetes was discovered back in 2012. On March 16, 2017, the National Post published an article the article explains that researchers have found that type 2 diabetes can be reversed by following a personalized exercise routine and diet. This proves that our research discovery is effective. What you are seeing is the article from the National Post. According to the article, diabetes UK is currently funding a large trial to find out if a low-calorie diet can put type 2 diabetes into remission in the long term. Sponsors of the trial say that they are starting to see mounting evidence that putting type 2 diabetes into remission is feasible. The research was published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism. As researchers, how can we make information on reversing type 2 diabetes available to diabetics? When my research discovered that type 2 diabetes can be reversed, I discussed making the information available to all diabetics with Dr. Anthony Robinson, for which he replied, that's an excellent idea. I invite all type 2 diabetics to visit my website, and for a small fee to help recover the funding for the research, they can download the Diabetes Reversal Program. Thank you.